Check one, two. Go! Go! Curious about real estate? Yes! Then you've come to the right place. Get the knowledge you need. Get over the fear and get started. Hello, thank you for calling. My name is Alex. How may I help you? Uh, Alex. Uh, my name is Kevin. I got your little postcard about buying a property. Okay. So you received one of our postcards about your house? Uh, yes, it's one. Yes. <laughs> and Kevin, is that K E V I N? Um, yeah, but that's not that's not who it's addressed to. Uh, if you're gonna look it up, it, you've got it under Steve. Okay. Well, it doesn't look like I have him in my system. So, are you the owner of the house, Kevin? I'm the receiver charged with selling it. Okay, fantastic. Thank you for helping me with that. And, Kevin, in case we get disconnected, what is a good number to call you back on? 2700. I have 2700? Yes. Uh-huh. Got it. Thank you. And is this a cell phone, Kevin? Uh, no, that's my office number. Okay, thank you. And do you happen to have a cell number or another number where we may reach you at? Uh, not that I would give out. Okay, and Kevin, what is your primary email address where our purchase manager can email you and offer to purchase your house? Okay, thank you, Kevin. It's uh, The property is 1075 Avenue. Well, Kevin, thank you for calling us to buy your house. Before we can determine how much we can buy your house for, there are just a few more questions I need to ask about your specific plans to sell it, okay? Sure. Great. Again, my name is Alex, and my job is to collect all the information needed so that our purchase manager can construct the very best offer for you if your house qualifies. As we go through the process, you'll notice that I will be writing down the information that we need to have in order to present you with a fair and intelligent offer as quickly as possible, usually within the next 24 to 48 hours. Let's get started, yes? Okay. Okay, excellent. And you are calling because you have a house you are hoping to sell, yes? Yes. That's fantastic. We're definitely looking for another house to buy right now. Is the property currently listed with a real estate broker? Um, no. It's, it's not listed? It's, That's great. It's, it's not under a current listing. Um, the listing is expired, um, and I've told the agent if he can still if what if if he still brings me buyers then I give him a contract but if I sell it myself then he doesn't get the the agency on it okay and what is the address of the house you're hoping to sell you said 1075 avenue yes okay well thank you for helping me with that kevin you know, Kevin, no one knows more about your house than you do, and we buy houses all over the country. So we are actually going to buy your house without ever going out to physically see the house. Once we agree to buy the house and you agree to sell us the house, we will send our local professionals out to determine the exact condition and repair costs the house may need. In the meantime, we would hope that you would be fair and honest regarding the condition of the house so that we don't move forward with an agreement to purchase your house that will later have to change or cancel because of missing information. Does that make sense? Yes? Uh, it does make sense, and I can tell you I'll be fair and honest because uh, as a receiver, it doesn't make me any difference. You know, I I, I, I just want it sold. It, I don't. I, it doesn't make me any additional money one way or the other, whether it sells for high or low price. Okay, so that doesn't matter. Mm-mm. Okay, well that's great. So let me ask you, Kevin, what amount should we assume we will have to pay in total repair cost and work or upgrades that a lender may require or that a future buyer will ask to be fixed? I have the slightest idea. The, that that property has not been rented. Um, I've only been in it once, and so I really don't know. Okay, would you say it would take more or less than fifteen thousand? Um, hmm. I don't know. Okay. 
And Kevin, what do you think the house is worth? Or in other words, if we sent out a real estate appraiser over tomorrow and had the property appraised, what do you think the house would be worth in today's market? Uh, I'm going to say, you know, probably low 20s. Okay. So what would you say? Maybe 24000 24000 Hmm. And is there a mortgage on the house that we will need to pay off? No. Excellent. There are taxes, but but no mortgage. Are they back taxes? Yes. Uh-huh. And do you have that amount on the back taxes? Uh, I would. I don't have it handy, but it's going to be around three thousand dollars. Around three thousand mm-hmm. dollars. Okay, and Kevin, what were you hoping to sell your house for? The net amount that you would receive to put in your pocket after all the repair and update costs have been considered, after all of your seller's closing costs have been subtracted, what we call the walk-away money. Go ahead and share with me, Kevin, what amount of money are you hoping to walk away with? Uh, I would need to get about seventeen five for it. Seventeen five. Mm-hmm. Okay, I see. And how did you come up with that amount as your walk-away money? Um. That's what one of one of the parties had offered the other one was uh, seven seven or eight thousand dollars, and then then they ended up couldn't couldn't work out an agreement uh, to sell one half to the other party, uh, and so that's about what that would have worked out at. Okay, and is that the least you will take, Kevin? Uh, pretty darn near it, yeah. Okay, and you can't see yourself doing any better for us. Mm, well, if you if you get an offer on the table, I, I'll I'm certainly not going to act stupid. <laughs> you know, if you <laughs> offer sixteen, then then I may uh, have to reconsider. Okay, and Kevin is uh, seventeen thousand five hundred the lowest that you will go. Um, well, we'll just have to see, but that's that's the lowest number I'm going to start at. Okay, well, Kevin, I have all the information we need for now. At this time, we need to look over the information you gave me, do some research on the property, and if we have any more questions, we'll call you back. Also, I'd like to set up an appointment to have our purchase manager contact you back and make you an offer to buy your house. Which time and day would be better for our purchase manager to contact you? We actually have time available on Wednesday. What time is it currently where you are, Kevin? Uh, Right now, 5, I don't know, 5.45 or so. Okay, so you're two hours ahead of me. So I have time available on Wednesday at 1 o'clock your time okay. or 5 o'clock. Uh, let me think about that on Wednesday. I will be in the office Wednesday afternoon from about – I probably won't be back from lunch at 1 because that's mine and my business partner's uh, 19th anniversary, and we're probably going to take the staff out to lunch Wednesday. Okay, how about, uh, let's say, 4 o'clock? Yeah, your time? That, that'd be great, sure. Four, around 4 o'clock, my time. Okay, great. Then we'll contact you on Wednesday at 4 o'clock your time. One more thing when our purchase manager calls you if you can agree on the terms and you can agree on the price that works for both of you. Are you ready to get the paperwork done and sell your house? Oh, sure. Great. And one last question. When our purchase manager calls you, it is important that all of the decision makers be there so we can come to an agreement to buy your house. Will all of the decision makers be there for the appointment? That's me. I'm That's the receiver, you? receiver with sole discretion to, to sell. Okay, and is there anything you need from our purchase manager besides the checkbook when they contact you to buy the house? No, not that I know of. Okay, well, Kevin, we look forward to buying your house. Thank you, and my purchase manager will be in contact with you on Wednesday at 4 o'clock. Thank you. Thank you. You have a good day. All right, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good afternoon, Henry and Fuller. Hi, may I please speak with Kevin? Uh, may I ask who's calling? Yes, my name is Ryan, and this is in regards to uh, purchasing his property. What was your name again, Ryan? Ryan, that's right. Hold on one second. Hmm? 
this is Kevin. Hi, Kevin. This is Ryan, and it looks like you spoke with Alex on the phone about your interest in selling your house. Yes, uh-huh. Great. I am calling back to verify that all the information we have is correct so that we can come to an agreement to purchase your property. Is this a good time for you? Sure. Great. And is this the best number to contact you on just in case we get disconnected? Yes. It is. Perfect. And do you happen to have an alternative number we may reach you at, Kevin? Mm, not really. This has got uh, this is a business line. It's got like a half a dozen lines behind it. So if you just call this number, it'll come through. It'll come through. All right. Sounds great. And I do also have your email address, which is? Yes. Thank you so much. And, Kevin, you did call us because you have a house you are hoping to sell. Yes? Uh, yes. Fantastic. We are definitely looking for another house to buy right now. And your house sounds like the kind we're looking for, too. This property is not currently listed with a real estate broker, correct? Uh, it is not. It's not listed. That's great. And we are speaking about 1075 um, Avenue. Yes. Thank you so much. And what amount should we assume we will have to pay in total repair costs and worker upgrades that a lender may require? Uh, boy, I just don't even know. I haven't the slightest idea. What ha haven't the slightest idea? Could you give me your best guess, if possible? Um, not really. <laughs> not really. Okay. Would you say it would take us more or less than fifteen thousand? I, I that that would be a a number that that I would probably say somewhere around fifteen thousand. Fifteen thousand. Okay. Ten to, ten to fifteen. I guess it just depends on how nice you want to make it. Ten to fifteen, and that's no problem, Kevin. We actually buy houses in any condition. We don't ask our sellers to do any work or repairs at all. And after we buy your house, we will be the ones paying for any of the necessary repairs or updates the house may need. Kevin, what's causing you to want to sell this property? Um, I'm actually a court-ordered receiver. The mm -hmm. folks that uh, owned it went through a divorce, uh, and I got charged with liquidating some of their properties, and this, this is one of them. This is one of them. Okay. Is this property um are you the owner of this property? I'm the I'm the receiver. I'm the one that has the authority to negotiate and sell it. The so, authority. Okay, whose name is on this property? Um the the name that the uh it is deed recorded under uh, uh the the deeds recorded under is um uh, Stephen. Stephen. And uh, Stephen is S-T-E-V-E-N? Yes. Okay. All right. And um, and they are using you to sell the property? Uh, yes, by court order. By court order. Okay. Court order. And we can certainly help you with that. What have you done so far to try and sell this property? It, it was listed, uh, but it's not on a current list uh, active uh, agent listing agreement. Contract it was listed. How long ago? Uh, when did the contract run out? I'm not sure. I'm going to say about six months ago. About six months ago. All right. And do you know what it was listed for then? Uh, it was listed at whatever the tax appraisal value uh, is on it, which okay. was, I, I, I won't guess, you know, 20 eight or so 28 or so all right um kevin do you have to sell this property in in order to help them meet future goals or purchase a different property uh yes uh, i have to sell it in order to wind down the property division in their divorce decree and the divorce decree okay and that's going to make us the perfect buyer for you because we're actually not looking for a house to live in we can buy this property and close on the date of your choice with that being said, when would you say is the soonest you would be able to sell this property and close escrow by? This afternoon. <laughs> this afternoon. <laughs> All right. So as soon as possible, I understand. And, Kevin, would you be able to close in the next 20 to 30 days? Uh, yeah, there's no barrier to my closing. No barrier I, to your closing. I have, I have sole discretion under the court order to sign off on any uh, real estate documents to conduct the sale, and there's no lien on it. <laughs> That's great. Um, and what is going to happen if it doesn't sell? Meaning, what are we going to do with this house, and how is it going to affect your guys' plans to sell the property? 
Well, it's uh, I'm not carrying any expense on it. I, I've had all of the utilities turned off. The only thing that I have to do on it is mow it and um, you know pay property taxes or let the property taxes accrue uh, against it a- until it sells. And so uh, the 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 agent that it, that has been working with me on these properties. Uh, is he still shows them, and I've told him if he sells them, I will, I will give him a real estate commission on it. But okay. otherwise, I, I'll either have to relist it or uh, put it up for auction with an auction company. Or put it up for auction. All right, I definitely understand. And have a, is there a possibility that you guys could simply rent or lease this property? No. No. None. All right. <laughs> No, no, no. Okay. No possibility. All right, that's good. And as far as what we believe it to be worth in today's market, you guys said twenty four thousand, is that correct? Uh yes. Twenty four thousand. Okay. And is that are you, do you know if that's as is or after putting it in perfect condition? No, that would be about an as is uh that would be about an as is price. Uh, depending, depending on how much taxes are owed on it, you know, mm-hmm. I, I'm, gonna, I'm guessing about three thousand or so in taxes. Three thousand or so in taxes. Okay. Mm-hmm. So as is. Let's see here. And I know you had mentioned you were going to be, you know, if the property didn't sell, and you did have someone that was interested in showing the properties and listing them. Um, are you aware of how expensive that is? Yeah, I pay him two thousand dollars a commission. For each house he sells. 2000 commission each house. Okay. And to be honest with you, most home sellers or anybody that's trying to sell a home are not really aware of how much it costs to sell that property. So I'm glad you guys do have some kind of agreement and, and some understanding. Yeah, uh, I've, already, so- I've already sold about five or six in this receivership. It, uh, there there were multiple houses. About, oh. About a couple of them. Yeah, about ten in Beaumont, and one at the beach, and one up in Hardin County. So there were, uh, hmm. I've, I've sold a bunch. Yeah, it sounds like there's a couple. Okay then. Uh, and is there still a mortgage on this property? Do you know, Kevin? No, there's not. No mortgage. Great. Let's see here. Kevin, I do want to tell you a little bit about what we do, what we can actually do for you, and the benefits we provide. We buy houses like this all the time, and we pay for all the costs. So the things like that real estate commission, title insurance, escrow fees, transfer tax, termite clearance, and roof certifications, that list goes on and on. So there is no cost to you um, or the owner of the home. And we do buy them in an as-is condition. So we're going to assume the responsibility for all of the needed repairs, whether we've seen them already or not. One of the positive factors about selling us uh, the property is that, you know, whoever is in the home, and I'm not sure if you know, this is the case, they can actually stay there for as long as they need to, or you guys can stay in possession of the property for as long as you need to. That and we can, vacant. Yeah, okay, great, it's vacant. And uh, we can still get you the money on the date of your choice, if that were the case. Uh, we will be paying cash when we buy your house, so you can have the peace of mind knowing it's sold, and not only sold, but sold to someone who can afford to buy it. Because we don't have to uh, rely on a bank to qualify your house, nor do we need to beg them for a loan and risk them changing their minds at the last minute. Kevin, I'm not sure if you've ever witnessed it, but believe me, there's nothing more frustrating than seeing a deal break down in escrow, and this is not going to happen to you guys. Oh, I've had it happen many times. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah <laughs> right. I, know, I know how frustrating it is. Yes, and isn't that really what you want is for all that not to happen? Uh, Yeah. Right. So let's go ahead and talk about the net amount that you would receive to put in your pocket after all the repair costs and upgrades have been considered, after all the seller's closing costs have been subtracted, and uh, if there was a loan, then we would be paying that off also. And that's what we call the walkaway money. So go ahead and share with me. Um, I understand you're looking to walk away at 17.5. Is that the lowest you will go? Uh, that's that's pretty much where I need to be. I'm, I, I told... Uh... Alex, yesterday I said, you know, I won't, I won't be stupid if somebody walks up and says, well, I'll pay you sixteen five for it. Well, okay, mm-hmm. if that's the best I can get for it, fine. Um, cool. You know, the, the the deal here is I, I'm the receiver. I'm the one that, for you to deal with as far as selling the property. Mm-hmm. But it doesn't make me one bit of difference. 
you know, right. I get pay, I get paid the same whether I sell it for you know thirty five thousand dollars or five thousand dollars. Doesn't make me right. any difference. <laughs> okay, and uh, I know you said that. Did you say? Correct me if I'm wrong. Sixteen five is something that you would be interested in. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I want seventeen five for it. But if you offer me and tell me sixteen five is the absolute best you could go, well, mm-hmm. you know, I guess I'd probably, I would probably take that. Take that, okay. Uh, you can't see yourself doing better than that sixteen five for us. Mm, not, not until you make an offer. <laughs> not, not until we make an offer. Okay, I understand. So is that an absolute lowest you're willing to go? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, do you think you would consider doing 12? Um, well, I think what I would do at 12 is probably uh, file a motion with a court and, 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 and let the parties come and object to it if they think it's not enough money. If they think it's not enough money, okay. And, and I tell you, one of them probably will. He had offered, he had offered about eight thousand to buy his ex-wife out, but now he's backed out on doing it. Which is that's how I came up with the seventeen five. Mm-hmm. See, if he had offered her eight, that that that's in effect a net sale price of, of sixteen. Mm-hmm. Uh, and she she had uh, countered. And, and I think she was wanting, you know, around eighty, eighty-five hundred or nine, uh, which, you know, again, that's for for purchasing one half of it. Right. So the, I, I think the parties think that that the the thing ought to sell uh, for, you know, a, a net of somewhere between sixteen and eighteen thousand dollars. Sixteen and eighteen. Okay. Well, how close could you meet me to that twelve? Uh. Well, like I said, what what I do, I just file a motion with the court and let the court decide. File a motion with the court. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, um, pretty much how we work is that, you know, before we go ahead and move forward with anything, we would actually need a commitment on a number so that we could come to an agreement because we are looking to buy as soon as possible. Mm-hmm. Right. So, um Well, I, mm-hmm. I think I guess that's one thing I can tell you because I do have discretion. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, if, if you want to buy it for a, a price that I know I can sell it for, uh, which which would again we're we're in that sixteen to eighteen thousand category, uh, uh, then I could sign the contract. And, and not mm-hmm. not even bother with court approval. Not even bother to. Mm-hmm. So that twelve thousand just wouldn't work for you in the situation we're looking to go. Uh, I, I I don't want to get myself sued or something for <laughs> not not bringing an, uh, what they think it ought to bring in value. Right. You know. Okay. Uh, so are you saying that at sixteen thousand you are committed to selling this property to us today, and that wouldn't be an issue? Um. Uh, I think I said seventeen five, but yeah, like if you make an offer for sixteen five, I would probably take that. Sixteen five, okay. Um, well, we are interested in purchasing this property, and if I can get that approval for the purchase price of sixteen thousand, you are ready to sell your house, this property today, correct? I, I can do that. Yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and move forward, Kevin. Uh, we are ready to buy this property. I do want to email you the purchase agreement. Um, and I can email that to Yes, uh-huh. Okay, that sounds great. So let me go ahead and do that. I'm going to be sending that over here shortly. We've been pretty busy today. Um, you guys are in Texas. What time is it in, over there? Uh, 4.14. 4.14. So it looks like we're just two hours behind you. Um, and we close here at 5. So I'll definitely be able to get it over here within the next half hour. Um and I know you're probably going to have to have the owner sign off on this. How soon do you think you can get this back to me? Uh, no, actually, I'm I'm the one that would be signing it. Oh, really? Okay. All right. How soon do you think you could get it back to me? Uh, depends on how long it takes me to read it. <laughs> All right. That sounds great. Well, so I'll get it back to you tomorrow anyway. Tomorrow. Okay. Well, I'll go ahead and put the return date as uh, tomorrow, uh, 5.01 my time, and that will be the, the cutoff. So let me go ahead and do that, and then I'll verify with you that you received it 
as soon as I send it over. And if you have any questions about it, feel free to uh, give me a call. I'm more than happy to answer them all, okay? Okay. All right. Thank you so much, Kevin. I'll be contacting you here shortly, okay? Congratulations. All right. Thank you. Uh huh. Bye-bye. Thanks for listening. Get more info and stay in touch. 